So welcome, guys. We are here with uh, the INAS topper session. So we have Dr. Ravish with us. So Dr. Ravish is from Bangalore. So uh, okay. he secured the prestigious rank uh, AML rank one and PML rank one. So he has pick of colleges. So as is our norm, we'll try to pick out his strategies, what worked for him, what did not work for him, how did he approach his studies, why did he choose cardiology, so on and so forth. So our aim is, you know, by giving you different uh, topper interviews, it's maybe that you guys can relate to this and uh, improve your strategies. Realize that different people have different strategies to crack the exam. So it's not all, you know, everyone needs to follow the same road. There are different roads to leading to the same outcome. So welcome, Dr. Ravish. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, so Dr. Ravish, where are you from, basically? Sir, I'm from uh, Bangalore. I did my undergraduation from uh, Bangalore Medical College, and I did my MD medicine from uh, PGI Chandigarh. So which batch do you belong to? Sir, I belong to the July 2022 batch for MD, and MBBS, I was in uh, 2016 batch. So you know, it's very recent. So you're probably cracked. Uh, I think the first chance. But yes, sir. This attempt. Yeah. So again, I think it continuously the same trend is for the past you know four years. You you mostly get through in your first chance. So your toppers are generally first chance first chances because you know we have all our toppers, all our interviews. About eighty percent are people who crack in the first attempt, especially with the change in syllabus. You know, it becomes easier to probably crack in your first attempt. Probably we also help because it we distill the, and the contents into a more uh, more understandable way. So probably the time preparation gets concise. So um, so why did you choose cardiology? So you have to pick up your subjects. So medicine is such a vast subject. You know, and what cardiology is one part of medicine, core part, but it's essentially just one part of medicine. So why did you choose cardiology? Sir, I think I've been interested in cardiology from the very beginning itself in all the uh, branches, in all the uh, subjects. Like in anatomy, I used to like CVS. In physiology, I used to like uh, the physiology of cardiovascular system and so on. So even after uh, uh, MBBS, completing MBBS and in the beginning of MD also, I uh, uh, very much like cardiology itself. But I did not want to rush into my decision. So I just wanted to uh, experience all the branches first because in PGI, we are posted in almost all the uh, super speciality for at least uh, one or two months. So I just wanted to go through all of them and then come to a final decision. So uh, my exam got over, uh, MD medicine exam got over uh, uh, in uh, April. And uh, I finally came to, a I took a short break and I finally came to a decision to take cardiology uh, around the beginning of August. Now, what was your uh, mindset? What was your rationale when comparing cardiology to other subjects? Let's say, why not choose something like you know, nephrology, gastroenterology? Why do you have a particular interest towards cardiology? Sir, I think uh, one is the, I, I like the subject itself. I have an intrinsic liking. I, I'm not sure why, but I like the subject very much. And the other points are, uh, I feel cardiology is a very, very versatile branch and it has a lot to offer. There is, there is clinical cardiology. There is a lot of scope for research. There are interventions. There is criti uh, part of critical care also. There is preventive medicine also. So I think cardiology has everything uh, uh, that medicine has to offer. I think it's a very complete branch. I think that is one of the things which also attracted me towards cardiology. So how did you how did you approach your preparation towards this INISS? You know, it's very easy to get lost because the it's, a, it's an enormous challenge to crack the exam. So it's very easy to get lost. Since you come from a prestigious institute, you know, your, your seniors would automatically show you the way. But how did you approach it? What was your strategies? How did you start? Sir, for, uh, uh, while preparing for my MD medicine itself, uh, I had uh, uh, subscribed to Marrow in uh, my second year MD. So, but I was not very serious about any particular subject during that time. I just wanted to learn more about medicine. So I used to watch all the uh, specialty videos. And uh, along with Harrison, I used to add on uh, points like which were uh, uh, told extra during the uh, uh, all the specialty lectures. And I just used to ha add it to Harrison so that uh, I used to prepare like that for my um, MD final exam. Uh, I think after uh, uh, completing my MD final exam, uh, I took a short break and then I uh, finally came to a conclusion about cardiology. And uh, by the time I had done that, I had just uh, three to four months uh, left for the exam. So I decided that if I start making my own notes now, it will be a lot of time and uh, it will consume a lot of time. Therefore, I just bought the marrow notes 
and i just because i had already gone through many of the uh, videos uh, during my md preparation itself i just used to uh, go through the marrow notes along with the videos and then i used to add on any extra points which were uh, told in the videos uh, in my notes itself and simultaneously after completing the uh, videos i used to solve the question bank and if there are any extra points in the question bank i used to add uh, in my notes itself so finally my main aim was to have one single uh, source which uh, to, uh, which i can easily revise i think the uh, revising again and again is the most important uh, uh, strategy when preparing for uh, ini so really me have one particular source and adding all the information to that particular source so how was maro notes because you essentially added everything towards maro notes so how was maro notes sir i think uh, maro notes were uh, extremely good sir i think they were uh, really a class apart because um, uh, cardiology is a very difficult subject to grasp because there is so many concepts and so many facts also so just reading the notes uh, uh, can be a, a bit difficult but uh, uh, reading the notes along with videos is very important i think because the way you uh, explain things starting from the history of the disease then uh, coming to the clinical scenarios and then the management uh, part that uh, that i think is very good and you also uh, uh, tend to repeat the concepts again and again in multiple videos you repeat many things i think that also reinforces the concepts so i think the for conceptual understanding uh, maro notes are uh, extremely good and they actually help you in the time of the exam also to rule out options because once your concepts are clear you can uh, uh, rule out options and uh, come to a final answer no conceptual understanding is very important in cardiology there are too many things to by heart cardiology is a very visual subject a very con conceptual subject also so it cannot be uh, it cannot be learned just by you know rote learning that's not possible for cardiology so how long did you did it take you to see the videos so around there are 90 hours of cardiology videos so how long did it take you to see the entire thing uh, so during that time i also had my uh, duties uh, so my md got completed in around the end of august so i used to watch uh, uh, mainly in the evening uh, i used to watch the videos and it took me around one and a half one and a half months to uh, complete the uh, videos and uh, just uh, annotate all my notes the what what are all the important points and after that um, i started uh, revision any particular topics you found useful you know very interesting some what topics particularly you liked among the videos so i think the most obvious answer is congenital heart disease sir because i for, i definitely know i could not have uh, understood it better in any other way in any other uh, book uh, and it also helped me during my uh, md final exams also and uh, even uh, uh, ischemic heart disease also i liked uh, very much sir. so how was uh, maro useful for you you know you study one of the most prestigious institutes in the country large variety of cases huge workload you know extensive super specialty exposure probably no other con- institution in the country offers you that so how was uh, you know maro helpful in your uh, daily award duties you know part of being a post graduate yes sir in pgi the duties are actually quite hectic so we work for constantly more than 12 hours a day easily so i think uh, after coming back home uh, like we won't have much energy to read but whenever we used to have free posting and uh, whenever we we are not so eager to read just switching on the videos and just listening and just passive learning will also uh, help us so i think uh, that also helped and also uh, uh, reading harrison also became easier while watching the maro videos like your videos or even rakesh sir's videos or any uh, faculty's videos like i used to watch it along with harrison and uh, i understood harrison also in a better way after watching the videos so we have also have this foundational videos which has been started in the last you know one to two months so that will be yes. more helpful for the post grad it's mainly aimed at you know although we advertise ourselves as you know for the targeting towards the inss or the neat ss there actually a platform that caters to the demands of your medicine post graduate so i think so the new foundational videos which has been released in the past uh, two months they are selectively yes. focused towards you know first year and uh, second year uh, md candidates managing ward and uh, cases in your wards and your general practice also so yes. um, you know uh so we have two different approaches right now we have the neat ss you know which has primarily a general medicine based syllabus and you have the iniss which is primarily based towards uh, you know super specialty based syllabus at least majority of your questions are from that so you know uh, did you have an eye towards neat ss like uh, if you had to study for did you focus only on the iniss or did you have an eye towards the neat ss also have a backup plan no sir i exclusively studied for inss because my main aim was to 
So for the medicine part of INI, I think uh, one very, very important uh, source is the previous year questions and also the uh, AIMS uh, uh, S medicine SR ship exams questions. I think the, the, these two are very, very important uh, resources for uh, preparing for the medicine part of INI. Apart from that, for NEET, it's a completely different ball game. We have to study Harrison properly and all the subjects we have to be uh, equal weightage. For me, it was more about uh, balancing uh, uh, medicine for INI and uh, cardio for INI. So I think almost like 70 to 75 percent of the time I was studying cardio only and remaining 20 to 25 percent of the time I used to uh, dedicate for medicine. Mainly uh, I used to study the uh, previous year questions and the uh, surrounding topics. I think that is more important because I and even in this year's uh, paper, there were a lot of uh, previous year questions and previous year topics also, uh, especially from the lot medical of part. Repeats. Lot of repeats, I think. Yes, sir. Definitely a lot of repeats. Even in cardio, the concepts were repeating and some questions were repeated. But in medicine, especially, I think there were quite a few repeats and the topics were also repeating. Suppose I give you a chance to go back in time, you know. So when do you think you should start preparing for your INSS or NEET SS? Is it when you join your MD, second year, third year or post year MD? Sir, I think uh, uh, INI is a very pattern oriented exam. So uh, it is the uh, predicting the pattern is definitely possible. So I, I don't uh, recommend uh, completely skipping uh, studying medicine and focusing only on the super speciality part uh, uh, while doing MD medicine. So I think MD medicine is more important uh, uh, while doing MD medicine. So you, you can start the preparation for uh, super speciality around fifth or sixth M along with your uh, uh, MD medicine final exam. But again, the final exam will take precedence over that. After completing your exam, I think uh, uh, three to four months of pre dedicated preparation is uh, will be sufficient uh, to crack the exam. I feel. You know, one important message I give you to the postgraduates is, you know, right now people treat uh, MD medicine as sort of, you know, the stepping stone for uh, uh, DM. So um, they're not bothered much about MD. So they straight away they they are like, okay, I'll prepare for DM, so nephro, cardio, or gastro, something like that. So it doesn't work in that way. You can learn MD medicine only once. So, you know, yes. suppose you are three years in medicine or four years in medicine, and then you take super specialty. That's the only time you get to learn medicine. You will never learn medicine again. So it's yes. like once, you're, once you're a super specialist once, or I'll say a subspecialist, that would be a better term. So once, like, let's say you're a gastroenterologist, it's very rarely that you're going to learn the latest guidelines for ventilator-associated pneumonia. It doesn't work like that. So this is the only chance you get to learn medicine. You know, medicine is a wonderful subject. It is the mother subject. It is the base. Even when you practice as a cardiology, cardiology is probably one subject which is as far as me from medicine as possible. But even if you practice cardiology, unless you are the part of, you know, 5% of cardiologists who only do interventions, you will have to manage cases. Your OP, majority of your cases are going to be medicine cases which come to your OP. So something like anemia with heart failure, something like that. You know, this time I had a, this week this, a week I had a beriberi, so which was presented with heart failure. So you will have to diagnose those things. So you know, never forget that uh, medicine is still uh, that very important. You have to learn medicine properly and then enter. That's why it's not called a super specialty. The ideal term, I think, is a subspecialty. It is part of medicine. It does not replace medicine. So that's very important. Yes. So uh, yeah. So uh, any particular, you know, how was how was your MCQ preparation? So you uh, elaborate a lot on your how you prepared your subject? How was your MCQ based preparation? So did you attempt your you know previous question papers? Did you attempt your uh, marrow GTs? All those things. Yes, sir. I think uh, given GTs from an uh, from an early period is uh, very important uh, because uh, I started giving GTs straight away before even starting uh, preparation. I I gave my first GT around at, uh, in around August, and after that uh, I used to consistently give uh, weekly GTs. So not not just the current years, but even the previous years, GT, I used to give weekly GTs. And uh, uh, along with uh, uh, when I completed the uh, chapters for, from cardiology, from re uh, reading the notes, I used to uh, simultaneously solve the MCQs as well. So I think consistently solving MCQs is also very important because uh, solving MCQ is also a different type of art. So even if you know everything, uh, if you cannot solve MCQs properly, if you cannot rule out options, then uh, it will become uh, difficult for you. So I think the GTs really help in, the, in, in that way. I think uh, uh, by the end of the preparation, uh, the GT sco scores and uh, the GT rank will also reflect uh, your final rank. I think that is what I believe in. So what are your ranks in your GTs? Sir, in my GTs, I used to uh, get in the top five only, sir, usually. So apparently accurately reflecting your performance. 
so i think you should take your uh, gps and your you know mock exams as a very constructive exercise it will fairly reflect well your exams and i think you should keep on working about mcqs mcqs is a completely different ball game ever since you are from lkg first standard you know you are asked questions the answer is not provided in front of you here the answer is provided in front of you and people are often lost you know when somebody gives you the answer it's a completely different ball game that's what so you need to practice you need to see this all except you know all of this following statements might be true all except in the multiple right answers multiple wrong answers so i think practice is very important i think you should uh, keep on practicing you should keep on revising and i think the most important thing is your concept should be solid because you know and i don't think there's a single person who's got into inss if unless they are uh, they have mastered their concepts so there's no by hearting here or rote learning i think that is extremely important that you master your concepts so uh, any uh, so any particular specialty what what li- what lies ahead for you so you are planning for further further like something like structural heart disease something like electrophysiology any particular specialty you would like to focus on i have not uh, uh, planned for that sir else i i'd like to first complete cardiology and i uh, i want to get the experience and then uh, i'd like to decide i think you know cardiology is a very fascinating subject i think uh, it is one subject which offers you you know the true experience of being a surgeon and uh, you know and uh, a physician probably and you have yes. tremendous scope for it and you know it is exp- expanding tremendously i think every every new day some procedure comes up and uh, you know it's every new day some new diseases from cardiology which is thought to be untreatable is being treated so i think very yeah. fascinating subject i think you will probably study in one of the best colleges of your country you basically have your pick so i think you know uh, from all on behalf of myself uh, the entire maro team i would like to wish you all success and you know and uh, you, know, you know become a very successful cardiologist and have a happy life so thank you so much thank you for your, uh, so for much. your time thank you sir.